SCS 900 version 3 makes setting up a base station straightforward and intuitive. The first time you set up a base station on a new site, tap the Home button. Then tap GPS and Connect. As always, three taps get you where you need to go. First, I'll select Base as my mode, then Cable as the connection type. Select your COM port, and SCS 900 connects to your receiver. When connected, choose how you want to send your corrections. I'll choose radio in receiver and then choose which channel I want to transmit my corrections on. In this case, I'll select channel 15. SCS 900 checks to see if that channel of network is clear of any interference. Then select a list of control points from the list or map. Or you can type in a latitude, longitude, and height. On the next screen, I don't know my position, so I'll let SCS 900 find my position from the receiver. I tap Finish, and then give my base station a name. In this case, I'll call it Westminster Base, and tap OK to save my setting. Now I need to select my antenna type, Measure Method, and Vertical Height. The final selection is Correction Type. I can choose the compact Trimble CMRX method or the more traditional CMR Plus method. I'm going to choose CMRX and tap Accept. When SCS 900 finishes the setup, I see an info box containing all my base station setup information. After I tap OK, I can now go and set up my rover. If you ever need to reset the base station on this site, tap the Home button then GPS and Connect. The setup screen appears and you can change your settings. As you can see, with SCS 900 version 3, streamlined workflows make setting up your base station a breeze.